segment today, I'm taking a look at the Skosh Fresh Air Air Purifier and Deodorizer. And this, the PR company sent this to me to take a look at it. Uh, you may have seen a lot of, of air purifiers on the market today due to just pollution, uh, climate, climate change. Here in California, we have these wildfires and smoke events that are becoming more and more common. And therefore, a lot of these products on the market. I was sent one recently from a Chinese company and it just really made me think of how you have to be careful with these products. I like Skosh in general. It's an American company out of Venture, uh, Venture, uh, Ventura, uh, California, family-owned company. Um, unfortunately, in these products, there is no certification of the quality of the filter itself or the, the output from the machine. So a lot of it does come down to how much you trust the brand. And the so this brand, Skosh, has been around a, lot, a long time doing both... Um, home products, uh, home auto, uh, electronics, chargers, and that type of thing, as well as a lot of different products for the car. And with, with lack of any kind of real certification, uh, I put my money behind a product from a company that you know, rather than one that just says that it will it will purify the air. Now, they they say that they they um, have tested this to, to show that it will take out 99.5% of allergens and uh, dust particles up to uh, parts per thousand of 2.5. Um, I don't know what that even means, but uh, uh, it sounds <laughs> like a like a good number. And uh, it releases negative ions and fresh deodorized air. And inside, you have a uh, inside is really nice uh, nice packaging. Uh, you can see the the actual machine here, and it's meant to be a kept in a cup holder in the in the car or used in a small space 42 square meters or 42 square uh, feet so like a very small cubicle with uh, tall walls or a small office six by seven i mean we're, we're talking about a, very, a relatively small space uh, unfortunately not large enough to deodorize or clean the the smoke out of a room the size of my office but great for the car and made as i say to sit in that um, inside that uh, cup holder. It also comes with a uh, cigarette lighter charger, what we used to call a, char uh, a cigarette lighter charger. I don't know what they're called anymore. They, uh, the, uh, the old fashioned uh, uh, car charger, which comes in the accessories box here. So this little guy, and that has a USB, a dual USB, so you can charge your phone and the, the fresh air air uh, purifier. And then there's also a cord that plugs into a USB regular outlet. So traditional, traditional USB, not USB-C. And unfortunately, for those of you who've got a lot of cables, it does have this type of uh, connection on the other side, so you cannot switch this out with another type of cable. It's got to be this uh, special one. Okay. Uh, it, it has a, a couple settings on the top that are that are interesting. If I can figure out how to plug it in, you can see here on the top immediately turns on. You there are numbers here for when when it is on that will show the temperature and the, uh, the humidity in the space that you're at. So uh, right now, 67 degrees in, in my office and 46% humidity. And then it will light up in blue, green, and red for the quality of air that's in your space. And if it shows red, it means that the, the filter needs to, be, needs to be changed. And I don't know how often you'd have to change that filter, but if it is working all the time, that would be something that you would need to do, and that's uh, fairly easy to, to accomplish out of the, the bottom. It just unscrews. And I don't know if this is a traditional size filter, but these are also so, sold by Skosh for $15 a piece. It's a HEPA, HEPA style filter. Plugs back in here, and it comes with the filter, as well as the two accessories that I told you about. And the, the other thing that it has is it has no, for you know, beauty of design, it has no on-off switch. So it, you, you um, tap it or wave your hand on it and it will turn on. You wave your hand again, it should change the, 
to change the speed. There we go. And then if you wave it or tap on it, it'll turn off. Now in a small space, I found this uh, this a little bit uh, a little bit kludgy from time to time. When I when I just get my hand near it, it turns on. Uh, I don't know in a car uh, that that seems to happen less often. But they are updating this in the future to have more of a, a, a I think some sort of control, so you don't um, you can turn off that only motion activated part so that it's uh, it's not coming on all the time. He, uh, they, it costs uh, $99, and as I said, the filters themselves are $15, so uh, it's not a, a, a cheap item, but it is the kind of thing that if you need it for uh, heavy smoke days, you might be glad you had it if you're commuting a lot. It also is a deodorizer, so if you have pets or if you smoke, that is another consideration. It might be really valuable for you, especially if you have those type of, of odors. Um, I think that's about it. There's a 24 watt dual port USB charger. I don't know if that's a, a really good number or not. I know Scotia makes uh, portable chargers that are a little bit better than that. So this is a, a it's, I think it's a good charger, but not it's not state of the art for uh, a car charger. So that's it. It's a Scotch Fresh Air HEPA, HEPA air purifier and deodorizer. And that's $99.99 on Amazon. Paul Bannis from GreatDad.com. See you next time. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.